All right, thanks so much, Stella. We now head to Butte, where community members are coming together to support a baby boy in need of a heart transplant. But there's a happy ending to this story, and our Brooke McCarthy tells us more about baby Jasper. So we were, we were just so happy that finally, finally, finally it happened. Grandma Linda is overwhelmed with joy that her eight-month-old grandson will be receiving a new heart. Condition went from a healthy, um, chubby little baby, and now he's just, uh, it, you could see the little gray. bags under his eyes, it was gray. Jasper is being treated at the primary children's hospital in Salt Lake City. Linda says it's been a tough four months for Jasper, traveling between the ICU and surgical floor with health complications. Brittany and I were just praying, no more seizures, no more strokes, no more infection. Just stay healthy enough so you can get a heart when it's ready. Their prayers were answered last week, a call saying Jasper is getting a new heart. No matter where they travel, Jasper's family says they aren't forgetting about all the support they've received from the mining city. We need help and um, people are amazing. They have helped. Um, this is Allie, another amazing young kid who helps baby Jasper by selling cups of lemonade. Um, I'm donating money to baby Jasper. Allie sets up her stand, Allie's Tasty Beverages, every Friday on Grand Avenue. While she's never met baby Jasper, this nine-year-old felt an obligation to help out. Um, I felt like he should have a heart. And she doesn't plan to stop anytime soon. I hope he feels better. And that was Brooke McCarthy reporting. Now we are told Jasper will undergo heart transplant surgery in the coming weeks. And we do have more information about baby Jasper and how you can help on our website, abcfox